Can you imagine a world without social media? Now, that's a thought, isn't it? It seems almost impossible to fathom. Social media in its myriad forms has woven itself so intricately into the fabric of our daily lives. It's how we connect, communicate, share, learn, and even how we perceive the world around us. It's our digital heartbeat, pulsating with every tweet like share and update. It's a world that has been crafted pixel by pixel, post by post. A world that thrives on the exchange of ideas, the sharing of moments, and the creation of digital communities. It's a world that has seen a billion dreams take flight, a million voices find their echo, and countless moments of joy, sorrow and triumph shared and felt by people across continents. Yet it's also a world that has its own unique challenges. It's a world that can blur the lines between reality and illusion, between genuine human connection and superficial digital interaction. It's a world that can make us feel both incredibly connected and profoundly isolated at the same time. But it's hard to imagine life without it, isn't it? It's become such an integral part of who we are, shaping our interactions, our thoughts, our perceptions. It's like a digital extension of ourselves, a mirror reflecting not just who we are, but who we aspire to be. It's easy to forget that there was a time when this world didn't exist. A time when communication meant letters and phone calls, when sharing meant physically being present, when being connected meant a whole different thing. And yet, here we are, unable to picture a day without checking our feeds, updating our statuses or scrolling through an endless stream of posts. Such is the power, the allure, the ubiquity of social media, so let's embark on an adventure, an exploration of a hypothetical scenario that seems almost unimaginable. Let's delve into the depths of our digital existence and imagine just for a moment a world without social media. Dive into this journey of imagining a world without social media. To understand a world without social media, we must remember a time when it didn't exist. A time when the internet was a luxury, not a necessity. And our phones were just phones. It's a period that might seem ancient to some, but it's not as far off as we might think. Before the dawn of social media, communication was a different game. People connected through physical letters, landline phones and face-to-face -face conversations. The magic of waiting for a handwritten letter from a loved one. The thrill of hearing a familiar voice over the phone after a long day. The joy of sharing stories around a dinner table. These were the moments that defined social networking before the digital age. Information sharing was slower but it was a process that had its own charm. News was disseminated through newspapers, radio broadcasts and television. You'd sit with a cup of coffee and a newspaper in the morning or gather around the radio or TV in the evening with family to catch up on the day's events. It was a time when news was less instant, but perhaps more reflective and in-depth. Staying connected meant something different then. It meant catching up with friends at the local cafe, making plans over a landline phone and cherishing those long, meaningful conversations that lasted into the wee hours of the night. It was a time when friendships were nurtured through shared experiences and time spent together, not through likes, comments and shares. And yet, life wasn't less fulfilling without social media. If anything, it was richer in many ways. It was a time when we were more present in our interactions, more mindful of our surroundings, and perhaps more connected to our own selves. It was a world where the pace of life was slower, but the connections we built were deeper and more meaningful. Life before social media was a different era, a different pace, a different way of connecting with the world, but it wasn't a lesser time, it was just different. As we have seen, life before social media was different, but it wasn't any less rich. Let's delve into the life of John, a man living in a world without social media. Now you might be thinking, how does John manage without peeking into the digital windows of Instagram or sharing his thoughts on Twitter? Well, let's find out. John, our protagonist, is an everyday man in the hustle and bustle of the 21st century. But his world is a little different. Without the constant chime of notifications, his morning starts with the chirping of birds, a hot cup of coffee and a print newspaper. Old school, you might say, but John likes the feel of crisp paper and the smell of fresh ink. 
He would argue there's a certain charm to it that a screen can't replicate. When John wants to catch up with friends, he doesn't scroll through a newsfeed. Instead, he meets them at a cafe or a park, sharing laughter and stories in person. He believes in the power of eye contact, in the warmth of a hand extended in greeting, and in the magic of shared silence. And what about staying informed, you ask? John has a radio in his car. He watches the evening news on television, and yes, he reads books. He may not have the world at his fingertips, but he's far from uninformed. He's selective about his sources of information, choosing quality over quantity. John's world might seem anachronistic, but it's far from lonely. He's connected with his community, engaging in local events, volunteering and participating in neighborhood activities. He believes in the power of human connection, the kind that doesn't require Wi-Fi. For John, life is not about the number of followers or likes, it's about the genuine connections he makes, the conversations he has, and the people he helps. He's found a balance, a way to live in the modern world without being consumed by it. As we can see, John's life is different from ours, but he has found his own ways to stay connected. So the next time you find yourself mindlessly scrolling, perhaps you could take a page out of John's book and look up from your screen. You might be surprised at what you find. What would be the implications of a world without social media? Let's dive into it. In this alternate reality, we'd see a significant shift in several areas of our lives. When we think about the potential impact on our mental health, it's a double-edged sword. Some might breathe a sigh of relief, freed from the pressures of constant comparison and the anxiety that comes with maintaining a perfect online image. However, others might feel isolated, missing the sense of community and connection that social media can provide. Let's consider productivity. Without the constant barrage of notifications and the urge to check our feeds, we might find ourselves with a surprising amount of free time. This could lead to increased focus on tasks and potentially a boost in productivity. On the flip side, the absence of social media could also make certain tasks more challenging. Think about how often we use social media to quickly disseminate information or to reach out to people we wouldn't otherwise have access to. The ease and speed of communication could be sorely missed. Privacy is another significant factor to consider. Without social media, we might regain some semblance of privacy, no longer having every detail of our lives broadcasted to the world. Yet, we might also lose the transparency and accountability that social media can offer in holding individuals and institutions to account. Finally, let's talk about human connections. Without social media, we might see a return to more traditional forms of communication, such as face-to-face -face meetings or phone calls. This could foster deeper, more meaningful relationships. However, we could also lose the ability to connect with people from all around the world, narrowing our perspectives and experiences. The world without social media has its own set of challenges and benefits. It's a delicate balance, a trade-off between privacy and connection, productivity and ease of communication. Like any tool, social media has its pros and cons. It's up to us to decide how to use it to our advantage. So, could we survive in a world without social media? The question lingers in the air, challenging us to consider our lives without the daily dose of posts, likes and shares. We've journeyed together through the unimaginable world back to life before social media and through John's world, a microcosm of our own reality. We've dissected the impact and consequences of a life unconnected, and now we stand on the precipice of a profound realization. Our existence is intertwined with social media, our identities shaped by the digital footprints we leave in the online sand. Yet in the silence of disconnection, we also find a tranquility, an uncluttered space to reflect and engage with the world around us in an organic way. So could we survive? Perhaps. But more importantly, it prompts us to ponder, are we merely surviving in our current state or are we truly living? Whether we could survive or not, imagining a world without social media certainly gives us food for thought.